Pfaffenhofen is an important industrial city close to Munich. This is where Daiichi Sankyo's European production site for pharmaceutical products is located. Pharmaceutical products are developed and manufactured in Pfaffenhofen. This includes the entire Onmesartan product range in particular. Also in pharmaceutical production, the supply of raw materials marks the start of the manufacturing process. Over 50 different raw materials are used to manufacture the different tablet formulations. Using the order documents, the employees inspect the incoming supplies and enter relevant information into a data processing system. Samples are taken from the containers under clean room conditions and are subsequently examined by quality control. The identity of the raw material from every single container is verified using near-infrared spectroscopy. In addition, the quality control laboratory is provided with representative samples. The laboratory staff uses chemical and physical methods to check the purity and the content of the raw materials. Depending on the raw material, the employees analyze certain chemical and physical characteristics. For example, phosphorus content is determined after a chemical reaction with a UV spectrometer. For biotechnologically manufactured substances, the nitrogen content is determined as a quality-related parameter, among others. Not only starting substances, but also packaging materials are scrutinized, especially if they're going to be in direct contact with the pharmaceutical products, such as blister foil, for example. Once all tests and checks are completed, all documents have to be verified and released by a quality control laboratory manager. These documents are archived for seven years. Starting substances and packaging materials are stored in the warehouse under quarantine until they're released by quality control. The High Bay Warehouse in Pfaffenhofen has the capacity to store up to 7,500 pallets. As soon as the starting substances and packaging materials are released, they're available for the production and packaging divisions. In order to guarantee the high hygienic production standards, all materials are transferred from wooden to aluminium pallets before entering the production area. This is where the actual production process begins. The starting substances enter the protected production area through a lock. Permanent light overpressure prevents small particles such as dust or pathogens, from entering. A continuous microbiological monitoring ensures the high quality of the air in the production area. Thus, at regular intervals, air samples are taken and tested in the laboratory for microbiological contamination. The first stop for the raw materials is the weighing and dispensing area. Here, each single container is identified by means of a barcode label. The formulations for all pharmaceutical products are managed on a central computer system. This system first checks whether the correct starting material has been chosen for the selected product. In addition, the system checks the quality status of the goods. Weighing of starting substances is only possible if these checks are completed successfully. Next, the active ingredient, Olmesartan, is transferred to a pin mill. In this step, the active ingredient is micronized. That is, it's milled to a very fine powder to improve bioavailability. A so-called pin mill is used. Its interior consists of two grinding discs equipped with steel pins, the heart of the pin mill. One of the grinding discs rotates at up to 12,000 revolutions a minute.
The first step of the granulation process is to mix the different substances the tablet will comprise. Thus, active ingredients and excipients are sucked into a powerful high shear mixer. Afterwards, the mixture is converted into granular material by adding water. The granules are then dried in a fluidized bed dryer within a short period of time by moving the wet material in a hot airflow. After drying, the residual moisture of the granular material has to be checked. Low residual moisture is a requirement for the stability of the tablets. Before starting the compression, several batches of granular material are combined and blended with other excipients in containers. The resulting mixture is processed further on tableting machines in the next production step. This is where the tablet is formed. The finished tableting mixture is transported to the dosing system through the filling funnel of the tableting machine. The position of the lower punch can be varied for filling the dies with the required amount of tableting mixture to obtain tablets with the targeted weight and thereby the correct amount of active ingredients. Then the upper punches dip into the filled dies. To form the tablets, the lower and upper punches pass compression rolls. A compression force of several tons gives the tablets their final shape. Through scrapers and ejectors, the tablets exit the machine. Up to 450,000 tablets can be compressed within an hour on one tableting machine. The tablets are burred afterwards. The tableting machine automatically provides samples at regular intervals for online quality checks. This ensures the correct weight, the specified tablet thickness and the crushing resistance. All these are important material attributes for tablet cores. The tableting machine provides automatic process control on the basis of this data. During the entire production process, so-called in-process control samples are taken for immediate analysis. This is part of the control strategy to ensure high safety and consistent product quality during manufacturing. The samples are checked in the in-process control laboratory located in the production area. The experienced staff pays particular attention to the most important physical parameters, such as the tablet weight, crushing resistance and abrasion resistance as well as the tablet thickness and its disintegration properties. At the end of the tests, the appearance of the tablets is subject to an optical control. The final manufacturing step is the coating process. In this step, the tablet cores are coated with a special film. In a rotating pan, a suspension is sprayed onto the tablet cores. This coating gives the tablets their color and their final appearance. A hot airflow continuously removes the solvent during the process. Also at this point, samples are taken for the final check in the quality control laboratories. After having put through this process, the freshly coated tablets are discharged from the pan and put into barrels. The quality control laboratories now conduct the final quality checks. The most important analytical parameters are active ingredient content and purity. These parameters are determined by high-performance liquid chromatography. A dissolution test conducted in liquid heated to 37 degrees centigrade simulates how the tablets dissolve in the stomach. For this, the liquid is stirred by standardized paddles. The purpose of this analytical method is to test how quickly the active ingredient is released. Consistent quality of the tablets is ensured on the basis of this data.
Only if all the analytical results and values meet the predefined criteria will the quality control manager release the investigated batch. The bulk tablets can now be packaged. Apart from the manufacture of proprietary drug products, Pfaffenhofen is also a location for manufacturing of active pharmaceutical ingredients in a biotechnological process. This includes the immunotherapeutic medicines Luivac. The pharmaceutical product is composed of the lysates of seven different human pathogenic bacteria strains. Every bacteria strain is manufactured in a dedicated fermentation step. Therefore, deep frozen bacteria are applied onto a solidified growth medium. The bacteria cultures are then incubated overnight at a steady temperature. Electronic monitoring systems ensure that the incubators keep a constant temperature of 37 degrees centigrade. The next day, the grown and now visible bacteria colonies are inoculated into a liquid culture medium and again incubated at 37 degrees centigrade. After several hours, the turbidity of the solution tells that the bacteria have proliferated sufficiently by cell division. In the next step, the fermenter is filled with a nutrient broth and the broth is sterilized. The bacteria are then added and propagated at a constant temperature of 37 degrees centigrade in a large stirred tank. After the proliferation has stopped, the cells are killed by heating at 70 degrees centigrade for an hour. Afterwards, a centrifuge is used to separate the bacteria cells from the culture broth with the help of centrifugal force at 7,600 revolutions a minute. To manufacture the active ingredient, the cell membranes of the bacteria are also required. These are obtained by disrupting the bacterial cell wall with a glass bead mill. The beads remain in the mill. The active ingredient, attained this way, is then placed in dishes and deep frozen. Manufacturing the final active pharmaceutical ingredient requires the separately manufactured cell parts of the seven bacteria to be suspended in water together with a carrier substance. To get a powdery substance for the tablet production, all water from this mixed solution is removed by spray drying. The finished product for the medication Luivac is now ready to be used to manufacture the tablets. Outside the production room, sophisticated technology makes sure that all production requirements can be met. For each production floor, two additional floors are required for technical equipment and for logistical purposes. Complex ventilation and filter technology in the ventilation system of the plant guarantees the required air quality in the entire production area. Each production room possesses its own air supply and air exhaust installation. All buildings are connected to the central heat supply. Part of the deployed heat is provided through a pipeline from an external biomass heating power plant. Additionally, steam is generated on site in oil or gas boilers. The employees regularly check the heat conduction and steam pipes for leakage with infrared cameras to detect insulation deficits. The employees also use infrared cameras to monitor switch cabinets in order to detect thermal impact on components or clamps. All supply systems are constantly monitored through software-based central building control systems. Compressed air is generated centrally for all buildings at the plant. The production plant's technical settings, maintenance and surveillance are of vital importance for a smooth production process. The rotor speed of the high-performance tableting machines, for example, is calibrated with a stroboscope sensor regularly. The appropriate airflow direction is checked with a safety cabinet and the particle separation efficiency of the deployed filters is measured. This is just one of many technical checks to ensure the employee's safety and the drug product quality. A portion of the bulk tablets manufactured at the Daiichi Sankyo plant in Pfaffenhofen is shipped to external clients in bulk. The majority, however, is put through the final packaging process on location. 
the employees first check the identity of all products before they are put through the packaging process. The tablets are packed into blisters in the primary station of the packaging line. Firstly, blister cups are formed and then filled with tablets. A camera constantly monitors that each cup contains one tablet. The blister machine is prepared manually, as is the installation of the correct cover foil. As a next step, the filled blister cups are sealed with foil and the blisters are punched out. Then the blisters are transported to the cartoning machine. The machine automatically packs the blisters and the correct package is inserted in the folding boxes. The machine sets up a folding box and pushes the blisters and package insert inside. Then the folded box is closed. The employees continuously refill the cottoning machine with packaging material. Each finished and filled package is weighed to ensure that the folding box contains the correct number of blisters and the package insert. The individual packages are then packed into shipping boxes. This is the very last step in the extensive production process. The tablets manufactured in Pfaffenhofen are now shipped to over 50 countries worldwide. This way, patients around the globe can benefit from the innovative pharmaceuticals by Daiichi Sankyo. Currently, the Pfaffenhofen plant produces 2.5 billion tablets and 25 million finished packages per year. At the next stage of expansion, there are plans to increase capacity to approximately 4 billion tablets and 90 million blisters. Daiichi Sankyo. Passion for innovation. Compassion for patients.